they live with an old relative called Mrs. Bird. Her husband was in the Navy, and she still likes everything ship-shape. be a storm tonight. Oh, radio said it was clearing up. Oh, radio. I feel it in my knees. My knees never lie. Guess what, Mrs. Bird? We found a bear. Uh-huh. A real bear from Peru. Oh, well, that's nice, dear. You don't seem very surprised. Oh, I gave up being surprised when they came up with the microwave oven. And I still don't trust you. What are you doing? Uh, the storm is upon us. Oh, you and your knees. I can tell you for a fact, Mrs. Bird, it is not going to rain indoors. Oh, no. There she blows. Oh, don't know about that. More to your father than meets the eye. Like what? Well, when I first met him, he was a very different man. <laughs> Is your father loves you very much. Give him a chance. He might just surprise you. Will you? <laughs> ah, there it is. It's my old duffel coat. <gasps> Actually, it was mine first. Oh. Well, long before that, it was mine. <laughs> oh, was it, Mr. Brown? Really? He wore it on his first day at school. It's lovely. Wooden buttons for ease of pull. And these two sandwich compartments are an excellent idea. I must say, it suits you very well how Mrs. Bird has a hoover for every occasion. Oh, Who else was in the house? The front door was still locked. There was an elephant. An elephant? What? Well, it had the head of an elephant and the body of a snake. But it tried to shoot. Have you been drinking salt water? No. Paddington, why don't you tell us what really happened? What? We won't be cross. Well, speak for yourself. Mrs. Brown, you must believe me. I would never lie to you. Dear Browns, thank you very much for having me to stay. You are a very lovely family. I'm very sorry about the flood and the fire and the incident at the Geographer's Guild. I hope that now I have gone, things will calm down a bit. Yours, Paddington. Well, should we go after him? It's better this way. He didn't really belong here. How can you say that? Judy. I'm going to my room. Where are you going? I just, um... I need to know he's OK. You just don't get it, do you? What? This family needed that we bear every bit as much as he needed you. There. Said my piece. Would you mind helping a frail old woman? I've missed my bus. Come on in, come on out the car. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Um, would you like a wee nip of antifreeze for the old pacemaker? No, 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 not while I'm on duty. Oh, too strong for you, huh? Oh, fighting so. Okay, I'll have one. Go! Oh, no, best of three. I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready. Come on. Ah, oh. oh, give up. I give up. I've got to get back to work. Look, oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's your fighting spirit? Oh. Nice try, bear. Mrs. Bird! What? Hey! Why didn't you look where you're going? I shut your pie hole. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Bird, you saved me. Oh, Paddington! I <laughs> Just a minute, young bear. Hmm? I thought I told you to wash behind your ears. Oh, but I did, Mrs. Bird. I. I wonder how that got in there. Very good, very good. Now, your name is. Paddington Brown. Oh, well, of course it is. You are my new neighbour. You live with... 
Henry and Mary and the great Mrs. Now then, I suppose you know who I am. Oh, yes. You're a very famous actor. Oh, poo. <laughs> or used to be. Now you do dog food commercials. <laughs> well, a man has to eat. He's a master of disguise. She's gone mad. Think about it, Henry. Someone out there knows about the cause of her fortune, right? Alleged fortune. And Knuckles said we weren't looking for a criminal gang. Knuckles? Because there was no gang. It was one man. And feathers knew all along. Feathers? Who's Feathers? Hmm? The parrot at the newsstand? No. Can we just return to planet Earth for a moment? Phoenix Buchanan is a highly respected, award-winning actor and a member of our Platinum Club. He is not a petty thief. Hang on a minute, Henry. But let's just assume I'm wrong, shall we? OK. And that the fortune teller, career criminal and parrot are right. Hmm. May I remind you that you don't actually have any proof? Uh, now, if anyone wants me, I shall be putting up posters. He's right. Well, I believe you, Mary. Actors are some of the most evil, devious people on the planet. Are they? They lie for a living. Craigie. If we're going to catch one, yes. we're going to need a foolproof plan. <sighs> has been delivered. Repeat, the package has been delivered. Mrs. Burr? Oh, so now you remember me. Well, I never. The cavalry. An old crone, a little girl, and an insurance man. <gasps> what am I going to do? I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do. Hmm? I'm going to blooming well biff you on the nose. Not a very good idea. <laughs> Stage combat. Level four. Well, where I come from, laddie, they teach you never to bring a knife to your gunfight. I think you'll find that fires plastic darts. So it does. Whereas this sword looks very sharp. <gasps> oh, back you go. All of you, back. Where am I? Take it easy now. You gave us a wee scare. But you're home now. Home? That's right. Look. The police realised they made a terrible mistake. Phoenix Buchanan has been arrested. And, I might add, is no longer a member of our Platinum Club. Then... You're a free bear. How long have I been asleep? Three days. Three days? But that means... It's Aunt Lucy's birthday. And I never sent her anything. It's all right, Paddington. But it isn't all right, Mrs. Brown. You see, Aunt Lucy did so much for me when I was a cub. Without her, I'd never have come to London. And I suppose all I ever really wanted was to make her proud. But now she's going to wake up on her birthday with no present and think I've let her down completely. Oh, you great goose. She won't think that at all. Won't she? Come with us. <laughs>